pretty famously, you wrote the initial version of Git in around 10 or so dates as a replacement for the kernel. Yes and no. It was actually fewer than, well, it was about 10 days until I could use it for the kernel. Mm -hmm. Yes. BitKeeper had always worked very well for me. It wasn't perfect, but it was light years ahead of anything else I've tried. But BitKeeper was always very, not entirely welcomed by the community of course. because it was commercial. It was free for open source use because Larry McVoy, who I knew, really liked open source, right? I mean, he was making a business around it yeah. and he wanted to, to sell BitKeeper to big companies. But not being open source and being used for one of the biggest open source projects around was kind of a sticking point for a lot sure. of people. So I was kind of hoping that something would come up that would be better. But what did come up was that Tridge in Australia basically reversed engineered BitKeeper. By the time I started writing Git, I had actually been thinking about the issue for right. four months and thinking about what works for me and thinking about... How do I do something that does even better than BitKeeper does, but doesn't do it the way BitKeeper does it? Right. So I did not want to be in the situation where Larry would say, hey, you did the one thing you were not supposed to do. 